Hello and welcome, my name is Andrew Peel, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to save materials to your Fluid Designer material library. First off, if you want to download the free version of Fluid Designer, all you need to do is go to the microphone website, find the Fluid Designer download page, then download and install the application. If you have any trouble installing the application, make sure to read the information below as it goes over a couple common issues that some users have been running into. Or you can sign up for the support site. It's free and available now. All you need to do is enter in your name and email address and we'll create an account for you. In the site, you're able to ask questions, view written documentation, and video tutorials for Fluid Designer. Everyone who has signed up so far should have received their login information. If for some reason you can't find that, just go ahead and re-enter in your email address and we'll send out your login information to you. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about materials. Fluid Designer allows you to maintain a library of materials that you can easily view, then drag into the scene to quickly apply them to objects. Any material you create in Blender automatically works in Fluid Designer. Because they are essentially the same application, Fluid Designer is just laid out a little bit differently. The free version of Fluid Designer comes with a sample material library, but of course you can completely customize the library to make it work for you. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm not going to go over the process of creating materials because there's a ton of information already available on how to create materials in Blender. I can recommend a few sites, cgcookie.com and blenderguru.com go into great detail on how to create advanced material shaders. I'll put the links to these websites in the description below if you want to learn more about the material creation process. In this video, I'm just going to be using a file that I downloaded from blendswap.com to show you how you can save materials to your library. So first off, we can activate the material library by selecting this icon right here. This will show you some materials that we have in our library, and then here we can pull down this menu to view the different categories that we have. Now if you want to view where this information is on your hard drive, if we go to this question mark icon, select Open in Browser, that will use your default operating system's file browser and browse to the category that we currently have selected. Now you can change the category names here if you'd like to. You can also create new folders. So here we'll call this My Materials. And then when we go back into the application, if we refresh our library by selecting the icon again, here we can see that we have My Materials category. Now we haven't saved any materials to this category, so let's go ahead and see how we can do that. We're going to go ahead and open up a file that I've downloaded from BlendSwap, and it's this couch file right here. So I'm going to select it and select Open Blender File. We can see that it's a pretty simple scene here. We have a camera, we've got the sofa, we have this lighting plane here along with this backdrop. And if we switch over to a rendering view, we can kind of see what we're looking at here. All right, so I really like the fabric that's applied to the sofa. So I want to go ahead and save this material to the category that I just created. I'm going to go and switch back to material mode here. And I'm going to go and activate the material library. I'm going to go and browse to the category that I want to save that to. I'm going to open up my tool shelf here, and this will show me the two panels that I have available for my material library. And I want to go to materials and category. So here I can select load materials from category, and that's not going to do anything because we don't have any materials in this category right now. So to save one, all we need to do is select the object that's applied the material, go and drop down this menu, save this, and select this save selected material to library. Now it's important that this command will only be active if you have the file saved to your hard drive. You can see where the file saved by viewing this path right up here. So if there's no path, it means that this file just exists in memory. And in order to save something, you have to have it saved to your hard drive. So keep that in mind, it's very important. And then we'll select the save selected material to library. Here we'll get this confirmation window that says, are you sure you want to save this material to this category? And the material is called Material Couch, and the category is called My Materials. So I'll say, okay, that looks all right. I'm going to go ahead and check this Create Thumbnail, which is important because it will automatically create the thumbnail for us in our file browser here. And then we'll click OK. Now this may take a minute. It's opening up Blender here in the background. It's creating the thumbnail image for you, and then it's going to save it to this directory. So we'll just go ahead and give it a minute here to process that. All right, and so now it's finished. And to see the um, material, all we need to do is reactivate this library here and go to the category. And we can see that now we have this material couch available in our library. And we can just drag this into the scene, and then we can left click on an object and it will assign that object that material. But what if we have a lot of materials that we want to save to our material library at one time? 
Well, here on the left-hand side, I have my Fluid Designer Material Library. Here on the right-hand side, I have some blend files, and these were created by Blender Guru, and these are just material libraries that are available to the Architecture Academy members. And these have a bunch of really nice materials, but I don't want to use the default Blender functionality of linking and appending these items into my scene. I just want to be able to see the thumbnails of everything. I want to be able to drag them and, and just assign them to the objects quickly within my scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save these materials, or all of the materials in these Blend files, to my material library. So I'm going to create a new folder here. We're going to call this BG Materials. And then we'll go and just open up this category. And then here I'm just going to copy those files. And then we'll paste them into this directory. Okay, so now that we have these blend files in this directory, let's go and open up Fluid Designer here. And I'm going to switch to my material library. And so here's the new category that I just created, but obviously there's no thumbnails created yet. So let's go ahead and open up our tool shelf. And then we're going to go to this material and category panel here. And then we're going to load the materials from this category. And what this does is it reads through all of the blend files in this directory that we currently have active here. And it just finds all of the materials that are available. You'll notice that all of the materials here have this error icon just letting us know that we haven't created a material for it yet or a thumbnail for it yet in our list here. So let's go ahead and do that. All we need to do is just highlight the ones that we want to create the materials for or we can just go select all and that will just highlight everything or check every box here. And then we could say create thumbnails for selected materials. Now, since we're creating materials for a lot of, or since we're creating thumbnails for a lot of materials, this is going to take a minute here, but here if I open up my material library, you'll begin to see that it's going to create thumbnails for all of these materials. So here we'll go ahead and switch to a thumbnail view, and then we'll see all the materials created as it goes through the process. Okay, so there it's created all of the thumbnails for the materials in these blend files here. Now keep in mind you can change, if you don't like the thumbnail that it created, you can just replace this image with whatever image you'd like, just make sure it's named the same thing and everything will work just fine. So just keep in mind that you can change the default thumbnails that are created. But here with those created, if we go back to our material library, refresh this, now we have all the materials in our list here. And so here if we type T to close that, We'll just add in a simple cube, and here we can just drag this into the scene, and then just left click on any object, and it will assign that material to that object. And one last thing that I want to show you, here we'll go and delete this really quick, open up our tool shelf again, I'm going to deselect everything. If you want to preview these before you actually create the thumbnails for them, all you need to do is just highlight the ones that you want to preview, and then here you can append the selected materials into the scene. So once you click that here, it just creates a cube and then just assigns the material to the cube. So you just kind of preview how it's going to look in the viewport before you create the thumbnail. So that's how you can save multiple materials to your library at one time. Now, just because I know that I'm probably going to get the question, I want to explain my interface really quick here. Because if you've downloaded the free version of Fluid Designer, then you're only given access to these four libraries here. But we have an additional library that you can purchase, which is the Cabinet Library add-on. And so here this gives you access to all of the parametric cabinets. We have inserts, things that you can use to build custom cabinets. We have different components and things like that that you can use to kind of snap together all of the items. We have object libraries, assemblies, um, libraries of door panels that you can use, and we also have a material library specific to the cabinet library. So it has different solid surface materials, uh, there's different patterns and laminates and things like that that you can choose between, and wood grains. So there's you know thousands of additional assets that you get with this add-on, and I'll put some more information in the description of this video just in case anyone's interested in this add-on. But for now, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned something about creating and maintaining your own material library.